In the last video, we've seen how to extract data from a web page using Scrapey Shell. Now it's time to automate the data extraction by building a Scrapey Spider to visit that same page and fetch the current quote from there. In the command line, we'll use the Scrapey Gen Spider command to generate the skeleton of our spider. It works like this. The first parameter here is the name of our spider. We usually name our spiders after the website that they are scraping. The second parameter here is the domain of the website that we will scrape. Let's run this and open the generated file using a text editor. As you can see, a spider is nothing else than a Python class that subclasses scrapy.spider. It has a few attributes. The name, this is the name we provided to the genspider command. Allow domains, we set this attribute when we want to make sure that our spider will only follow links for certain domains. This is not needed right now, but will be helpful in the future. And then we have the start URLs attribute. Here we define the URLs that our spider will visit when we execute it. In our case, we just want the spider to visit quotes.toscrape.com slash random. And now, probably the most important part of our spider, the parse method. This is a callback method that Scrape will call when responses to the start URLs are received. Let's start by just printing a log message. Let's print, I just visited, and then the response URL. So, when a response to this URL is received, our spider will print this log message. Now, let's see our spider in action. We'll use the scrapey run spider command for that. As you can see, Scrapey prints a lot of information about the execution. And in the midst of it, we have the message printed by our spider. Great! Now let's improve our spider and add the extraction logic that we developed in the last video. The parse method is where our spider will extract the data. To do that, it has to generate a dictionary or many dictionaries containing the data. So let's start sketching the dictionary with the fields that we want to extract. We have the author name, the text, and we also have the tags. Now let's copy the selectors that we built before and paste them here. Here is the selector for the author. Let's copy it and paste here in the dictionary as the value for the author name. Let's copy the selector for the text. And finally, let's get the selector for the tag. The dictionary generated by the parse method will be consumed by Scrapey Engine and passed through other Scrapey components until it's outputted as a scraped item. Now, let's go back to the terminal and run the spider again. Let me clear this screen. And here we go. Scrapey run spider quotes.py. And here we have the quote extracted by our spider. We can also save the data into a file using the dash o option. For example, Let's save it into a JSON file. So here we have the scraped data. That's it. Now you know how to build a spider to extract pieces of data from a web page. In the next video, we'll see how to extract multiple items from a single page. Now it's time to try this by yourself and then watch the next video.